Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to download all the files for a specific record in Salesforce. For this requirement to be achieved, we will be creating a Apex class, Lightning Web Component and a Quick Action. First, let's look at the Apex class. So this is the Apex class. I have a method called fetch related files where I am passing the record ID. Once the record ID is passed, I am fetching content document link records. From the content document link entity, I am getting the content document dot latest published version ID. I am iterating all the content document link and then I am adding it to a list of ID variable called list file IDs. So I am adding all those uh, content document dot <coughs> latest published version ID to this variable and then I am returning it uh, in this method. We will be calling this method from the lightning web component. For example, if you add this uh, lightning uh, web component as a quick action uh, on an account record, then that account record ID will be passed and then it will fetch all the content document link. So when you attach a file, it will be added to an entity called content document. Once it is added to link it to the account record, there will be an entry in content document link. So this content document link is nothing but a junction object between the record to which the file is attached and the file. So once this is uh, uh, Apex class is developed, now let's look at the Lightning Web Component. In the Lightning Web Component, the HTML file is blank because I am going to use action type as action. So it will be a quick action where it will not uh, show any screen to the user. It will fetch all the files, it will download and then it will throw a toast saying that the files are downloaded. So since I'm not using screen action, I have made this empty. Next, let's look at the JavaScript. In the JavaScript, I'm using at API invoke. So once this um, method is defined and once this lightning web component is added as a quick action this method will be invoked when you click a quick action so for, first what i'm doing is i'm i'm calling this fetch related files which is nothing but the apex class method and i'm passing the record id since i'm using api record id the record id of the current record will be uh, hold in this uh, variable and I am checking whether the result uh, and then I am I'm checking um, once the method is called I am assigning a variable and this variable uh, will have the list of IDs I am checking whether uh, uh, the length is greater than 0 if the length is greater than 0 I am constructing this URL and for each and every uh, record in the result. For example, let's say you have uh, added five files, then you will have five record IDs in this result. So I'm iterating each and every, and then at the end of this URL, I'm adding a slash and then that particular ID. The object prefix for this uh, uh, content version, published version is 068. So this latest published version ID will be having 068 as the prefix, key prefix. Once I iterate and construct this fine files download URL, I'm just adding a console.log statement to find out what is the URL. We will see this in, uh, um, in the browser um, next, what I'm doing is I'm using na nav navigation mixin.navigate and I'm using the type as standard web page. And uh, for the attributes, for the URL to be opened, I'm using the files download URL, which is constructed from here. 
next i am just dispatching an event saying that a file is downloaded successfully so this is a toast next if there is an uh, error then uh, i will throw an error so or uh, uh, there is no files then I'm th uh, throwing an error saying that files download files download failed error um, and even if some system error occurred I'm throwing an error same error saying that some system error occurred and next let's look at the meta.xml I'm going to use this as a, as a quick action so I have set it as a record action I am using lightning underscore record page since I need the record ID. So here we have mentioned a TAPA record ID. So in order to get that, I am using lightning record page. And in the lightning record action, I am setting the target config as action. If we use screen action, then th there will be a pop up. But uh, I don't want that. I wanted uh, a seamless experience for the user once they click download it it should download all the files so I'm using action so once the user clicks the uh, uh, quick action invoke method will be called it will call the apex class uh, fetch all the related files ID and then uh, it will download it will uh, construct the URL and then it will navigate to download the files and then it will uh, throw a toast saying that the files are downloaded okay let's see this in action here in the account object i created a quick action called download files using the lightning web component which we discussed now and then i have added this lightning uh, quick action to the page layout This is the one so let's refresh it okay okay now I'm going to click download let's see the console statements it, it downloaded the file the result is it fetched two files and this is the URL it constructed and these two files should be downloaded test and test copy see it downloaded the test and test copy which are attached to the account record I will definitely share my blog post where you can find the apex clad and the lightning web component uh, code uh, you can easily develop it um, and also I have put screenshots and steps to um, uh, add it to the page layout and uh, a screenshot of the quick action and uh, the output of it uh, so that you can uh, uh, check it uh, please check the video description to get the blog post link I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.